Well, I finally ventured back to the Cambridge Police Station, and it's about that time to join the Brotherhood of Steel. I met Paladin Dance way back when at the beginning of the game, and now I'm back to say what's up. He probably doesn't even remember me. It's been that long. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Had some help from our new friend. I've offered him a place on our team, but I'm not sure he's willing to accept. In the meantime, he's welcome to take shelter here, as long as he doesn't get in our way. Yo, Dance has been waiting weeks for me to come back just so he could start talking. <laughs> Brotherhood. If you want it. I'd be honored to join. Then that settles it. Halen, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Oh, Reese, how I missed your douche self. Let's just hug this out and get it over with. What do you say? You can play it however you want, tough guy. It's gonna take a lot more than completing one mission to impress me. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army, and we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry, I've spent time in the military. Perfect, then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of Knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Dance? Are you ready to head up to the ship? Why did the Brotherhood send it here in the first place? I'm not sure. But I think it might have something to do with the data on the Commonwealth my team gathered before it arrived. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps in fire on the locals. So we're off to the Pridwin, and they are ready to go to war. That's what Paladin Dance is rapping about, and Elder Maxon. Dude sounds like a badass, so it'll be interesting to see what he's all about. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're going to need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Well, we already know from the Memory Den quest, from Kellogg's memories, that the Institute, they teleport in and out of the Commonwealth. That's how they are moving. And we also talked to Virgil, a former Institute scientist, and he let us know a bunch of information about the Institute. So I'm going to be interested to hear what Elder Maxon and the Brotherhood of Steel actually really know about the Institute, besides the fact that they're having since infiltrate 
the human populace, and then there's the rumors of the boogeyman. They come and take people in the middle of the night. So that will be interested to hear what the Brotherhood of Steel actually know about the Institute. So I cut ahead a little bit. It took a while to get to the Pridwin, a really long time on the vertebrate here. And this is the, looks like the Boston airport, at least the remnants of it. So I know that Fort Strong is nearby, and I remember Paladin Dance talking about how Fort Strong had a big weapons cache and ammo cache, so we are definitely going to have to investigate that as we're getting sucked up to the Pridwin here. Board, sir. Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridman and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now. Was there anything else, or was everything I said understood? Not even a hint? Come on. I deserve it. Look, all I can tell you is that we're here directly in response to the data the Dance's recon team provided us. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait until Elder Maxon addresses the crew. Now dispense with the questions. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers, occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mi beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. 
Therefore, the Institute and their Sixths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. You haven't lived until you've tipped a Brahmin with a vertebrae. Now that's a challenge. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Dude, that is a badass coat that Maxon's got on. Let me get that. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet, to start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight and Befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Maxon's got a pretty big scar cutting across his face there. I'm sure that's from some epic battle. Mole rat on a stick. That is a really bad idea. Across the board, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> what the hell was that? Dude was gagging on some mole rat meat or something. Looks like we got a bit of a medical bay here. We got some sense on the stretchers there, and a little mutant they're experiment on. It looks like. Brother, wouldn't have to worry about them getting out if they weren't on the ship. Your concerns are noted, scribe. Give Proctor Ingram my thanks for letting me borrow you. Feel free to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse to be held responsible if you're injured. Quite a collection you've got here. Well, thank you. Most people don't appreciate the important work that I'm trying to do here. I'm on the cusp of discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad-X. What do you mean, crack the code? The genetic code. The DNA sequences that are in every living thing. You see, the ionizing radiation left behind by the Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, after several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Instead of decades, I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, anyway. Why alter it for a short period of time? Why not do it permanently? Attempting to alter the genetic code permanently? That's too close to what happened with FEV and Spawn, the super mutant. I'm not willing to take a chance like that. I wish I could show you a sample of the compound, but unfortunately I've hit a stumbling block preventing me from synthesizing a sample. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. No problem. I'd be glad to help. I appreciate your confidence in my abilities, brother. I've modified your Pip-Boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. What do we got here? We got the little mini-me soldiers. And the ears of the Brotherhood. If you see or hear anything suspicious, it is your duty to report it immediately. We live in enemy territory now. Your vigilance could mean the difference between life and death. Understood? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Good. Ad Victorium, Squires. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Dismissed. Proctor Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just... What if I miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing. Everything if you're holding looking together. For another safe Trust haven. me. There's shelter and supplies Good. at the police station uh, in Cambridge. Firing. All right, all right. Everything looks nominal, and you didn't scuttle the ship. Thanks, Initiate. Sure. 
I love how they did that just in the middle of this open area of the ship. They couldn't have done that outside on the ground somewhere. We got a Brotherhood Knight getting her push-ups in, getting swolled up. Well, here's our little storage that Maxon wanted us to check out. This is my little twin mattress cot. Looks pretty crummy. Let's go check in with Paladin Dance. Paladin, there you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Do you need to come with me now? It might help if I tagged along with you. On the other hand, you might want to make your first impression without a paladin standing over your shoulder. It's up to you. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. I'm gonna go by myself, Dance. Chill out. Let's go meet some of the crew members. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Wouldn't vault tech screening process have caught this already? vault tech screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? I love when he was checking his notes and he didn't even look down. He just kept mean mugging me. Honestly, I don't remember. Well... You don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question, and please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? <laughs> what? Yeah, Doc, I've had me a Brahmin or two. It happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many Wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the Wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Medical report, Knight Captain Cade reporting. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. What's becoming apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore, exceedingly dangerous. I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much Good it will help, again, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us. Well, the Brotherhood, along with a lot of people of the Commonwealth, are incredibly paranoid about sense hiding among us. It's going to be interesting to see where this goes with the sense, and you got the railroad, they're all for sense. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. 
However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. I mean, we already know that the Railroad does not like the Brotherhood of Steel, and they see them as an enemy, because that's what Desdemona was saying. And we got a kitty cat. What's up, G? You just lounging and chilling? You got a pretty tough life, don't you? Just lounging. So on Quinlan's terminal, there was some really good background information on Elder Maxon and how he became the leader of the Brotherhood of Steel. So he basically started out as a really young squire, and he was also the descendant of Roger Maxon, who was the founding father of the Brotherhood of Steel. And the Brotherhood of Steel got in a little bit of disarray because they didn't have good leadership and they were on the lookout for a good leader. And that kind of enters Maxon, who you see here kind of his accomplishments. He killed raiders at age 12. At age 13, he killed a death claw. And that's where he gained the huge facial scar that we saw when we first talked to him. And then he was victorious versus the super mutant at age 15 called Shepard. And the super mutant was trying to reorganize the capital wasteland super mutants. And that elevated Max into this hero-like status. And he kind of was seen as a deity, a god in a lot of people's eyes. And then um, at age 16 years old, Maxim brokered a peace deal with the outcasts. The outcasts of the old brotherhood establishment. And that showed his leadership. And he became the youngest elder within the brotherhood of steel. And now he's running the show and basically been kicking ass and taking names ever since. Definitely good getting this background information and learn a little bit more about the Brotherhood of Steel and also Max and himself to kind of see what type of guy he is. And, you know, I talked about how people kind of think of him as a god, and it mentions in here how he, you know, completely disregards anybody that thinks that. He doesn't see himself in that light. So pretty interesting stuff. Got it. So, there there a new is. recruit I heard about. Thanks, brother. Huh, not I what I was expecting. I can handle myself. Hey, if Paladin Dance vouched for you, that's good enough for me. You just don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Come on. If we're going to be working as a team, we should get to know each other better. I guess I can't argue with that. I was fighting with the Brotherhood in the Capital Wasteland. Worked at a staging area for the Power Armor troops. Our position was along a ridge line overlooking the battlefield. I'd say it was a hundred foot drop, give or take. That's quite a drop. If the enemy had no way of getting to us up there. It was a perfect liftoff point for the Vertibirds. To make a long story short, the ridge I was standing on took a hit from a nuke. Sheared most of the cliff right off, and caused the platform I was standing on to tumble over the side. If I hadn't been test piloting one of the power armor suits at the time, I would have died. Your power armor helped you survive the fall? Yeah, it took the brunt of the impact. But I don't know if I'd call it surviving. The suit was trashed after it landed, and I lost both of my legs. Haven't walked since. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. And I read about Proctor Ingram in a terminal, and it talked about her accident. Well, it didn't talk about her accident and go into much details, but it talked about how she injured her legs. This is a pretty dope-looking 
power armor suit and it talked about how she's trying to get back into the field work really wants to get back into the field work but she's been under evaluation and hasn't given been given the go-ahead quite yet so i don't know maybe we'll you know get her as a follower maybe later on i'm not sure going to battle with her that'd be pretty sweet now i checked out elder maxon's terminal and he actually helped proctor ingram build that specialized power armor suit that she's wearing that allows her to walk and move around even though if she did lose her legs and he wants her back in the field he really thinks she's ready so i guess we might get to see her in the field now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong, and it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed.